ideal sailing conditions greeted the GC32 cruise in beautiful Portugal for day two of the GC32 Lagos Cup. There was a different wind direction than the first day, but with consistent wind speeds again, the GC32 took off to fly above the waters. It looks like it's going to be a little bit lighter today um, and maybe a bit less puffy. So that'll be interesting and, and, and maybe it, towards the end of the week it even looks like it might be quite a bit lighter and we may be seeing some Genica's upwind and you know a different motor sailing these boats which is I've, I've not done that before and in, in, uh, you know in the very light maybe a little bit in Garda so that's going to be great. Auto continued where they left off from yesterday and put in another day of outstanding performances to remain at the top of the overall leaderboard. Meanwhile, Team Zulu, skipped by Eric Maris, moved up to second by showing great consistency, whilst Ineos, Team UK, skipped by Ben Ainsley, came to third. Well, the guys yesterday, without me, did a, a wonderful day. I got into this morning, I managed to slow them down for the first two races where we had bad results and then they caught up with me and I couldn't stop them. We had a, a very good last three races. Let's now have a look at the overall standings then after day two. Meanwhile, Frank Racing still had the best average speed in the Anonymo Speed Challenge, and there was also no change in the owner driver's division. Argo remained top after winning the very final race. Before that, the top three teams were joint after nine races. For more information, please go to our website, www.gc32racingtour.com, and stay tuned for more foiling GC32 action tomorrow.